this video tackled the exercises about the complement of a set, union of a set, subset, and the intersection of set or the set operations. Please make sure that you watch our tutorial video. So if you haven't watched it, please go to the description box, then click our link. Then after watching, proceed in this video to further understand. For those who watch the video, I want you to answer numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Let the universal set, or U, be the letters in the English alphabet. That's A, B, C, D, until letter Z. Identify A union B. For number one, set A is equal to A, D, B, W, X, Y, Z. Set B, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Number two, set A is equal to set of vowels. B, set of consonants. Number three, Mercury, Venus, Earth for set A. And for set B, Jupiter, Saturn. For number four, A is equal to consonants of the word love. And for set B, vowels of the word faith. Now you can pause the video so that you have a plenty of time to answer one, two, three, and four. And now, let's check your work. Number one, A union B is equal to, just copy all the elements in A and B and combine. So we have A, D, V, W, X, Y, Z for A. Then for B, O, P, Q, R, S, T. If the direction indicates that, arrange your answer in the order in the letters in our English alphabet. So you need to arrange our elements from A to Z. Since in this case, we don't have any directions. So this is accepted. Letter B, A union B is the set of vowels. So that is A, E, I, O, U. And letter B, set of consonants. So if we're going to merge or combine A union B, that is also equal to our universal set. So A union B is equal to our U, the universal set. Or you can write A to Z. That is also acceptable. Next, number three. A union B, combine the elements in A and B, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Jupiter, then Saturn. Okay. And last, a union B is equal to consonants of the vowel of the word love. So our consonants are L and V. Vowels of the word faith. So we have two vowels, A and I. So our elements are L, V, A, I. So this should be a bracket sign. So make sure that it looks like a bracket sign. Or a bracket sign. So that is our union set. In this case, let U be the first counting numbers. So 20 counting numbers. That means that is from 1, 2, 3, up to 20. First 20 counting numbers. Identify A intersection B. So you're going to get A intersection B. The intersection of two sets. For number 1, A is equal to 1, 2, 7, 12, 17, 19. Letter B, prime numbers. 
Set A for number 2, perfect square numbers. Set B, composite numbers. Number 3, set A is a multiples of 7. Set B, multiples of 3. Find the intersection. And number 4, set A is equal to add numbers and set B, given numbers. So you can pause the video so you have time to answer numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since you are done, now let's check number one. A intersection B. So A, 1, 2, 7, 12, 17, 19, and B prime numbers. So from 1 to 20, our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Okay. Now, what is the common in set A and set B? Get the common numbers. We have 2. We have 7. We have 17. And we have 19. So, A intersection B is equal to 2, 7, 17, and 19. Hope that you get that. Next, A intersection B. Perfect square numbers. So from 1 to 20, our perfect square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16. Composite number. So what are the composite numbers in 1, 4, 9, 16? So we have 1 is not a composite number. Next, 4. Yes, 4 is a composite number. 9, composite number. And 16, composite number. When we say composite number, these are the numbers with have more than two factors. So factors of four can be four times one or two times two. Factors of 16 are three and factors of nine are three, nine, and one. 16, that is factors are four, 16, one. Okay, so this is our A intersection B, 4, 9, 16. Next, A intersection B, multiples of 7. So from 1 to 20, that is 7, 14, 21. Uh, 21 is not included, so 7, 14. Multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Do we have intersection of our sets? Well, we don't have a common element. So this is empty set or the null set. Or empty. Or you can simply write the word empty. Next, set A is odd numbers and set B is even numbers. A intersection B. So add, those are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and even 2, 4, 6, 8. Do you have intersection? No. So this is also empty. Hope that you get 1, 2, 3, and 4. You have 4 squares. Now let's proceed to complement. This time, let's have the given u is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20. The ellipse sign up to 50. Place the complements of the following sets. Number 1, set A is the multiples of 3. Number 2, set C is the multiples of 10. Number 3, set D is the multiples of 5. And number 4, set S is the multiples of 5, 15, 25, 35, and 45. We are going to get... Number 1 for A prime, number 2 C prime or A C complement, 
Number three, D complement and S complement. If you want to answer, you can pause the video. Then let's check your word later. And now let's check your word. Number one, A complement or A prime. Multiples of three. Is five a multiple of three? Not. So we can write five. Ten. It's not a multiple of three, of course. Fifteen. It is a multiple of three, so we will not include fifteen. Twenty. It's not a multiple of three, so we will include for a prime. Twenty-five. It's not a multiple of three. Thirty. A multiple of three. Thirty-five. Multiple, it's not a multiple of 3, so we can write here. Then, 40 is not a multiple of 3. 45, multiple of 3, so we can write 45, then 50. Okay, so A complement is 5, 10, 20, 25, 35, 40, and 50. Okay, next. Set C, multiples of 10. 5 is not a multiple of 10, so we can write 5. Of course, we will exclude 10. Next, 15. We will not include 20. 25. Next, 35 and 45. Number 3. D, or set D, is a multiple of 5. So obviously, our given is a multiple of 5. So this is empty cell. Next, 5, 15, 25, 35, 45. So our S prime are 10, 20, 30, 40, and So that is the complement of a set. Thank you for watching Senior Public TV. And I hope that you learned something for this lesson in this video so you can share it to your classmates. Don't forget to subscribe.